Hey everybody, interesting video today. This is about the elusive Reaper startup crash. If you've ever had Reaper crash on you, it's rare in my experience, and it's usually a plugin or some extensions problem. And you've probably not had to troubleshoot it because it doesn't happen often. But if it does, this video will help you figure out what it is. So this is what it looks like when the crash happens, runs normally, gone. Crash on startup. So the crash on startup means something is problematic with that moment it's trying to kick on. So it could be a plugin, could be a repack extension. In my case, that's what it was. So here's how you do this. You win, right click event viewer, windows logs, application, and go through a recent crash. And this is Reaper control. So I did some digging in Google and I found out that there is an extension that someone added to Repack called REA Control. And REA Control has a conflict with Reaper Control, which is my uh, complete control S61 Mark II, that will cause it to crash on startup without a warning, without a message, anything. So just by using this window error, I can look it up, find REA Control, and at least troubleshoot what it is. So worst case scenario, you could delete this DLL or move this DLL. Best case scenario, do some Googling, find, you know, Reaper crash and that DLL and see if there's a conflict with an extension or whatnot. Uh, so it turns out if I type Reaper show audio configuration on startup, That loads, so that bypasses what the crash was. So that might be a way for you to get over the crash. So try that. Uh, and if I hit okay, everything's fine. And I don't have to go into a project. And I can show the re-epac browse packages and REA control uninstall this. Hit apply, yes. Okay, okay, close. And lo and behold, Reaper will start up like normal and stay up. So that's the event viewer in Windows. If you're on Windows, this is how you troubleshoot it. I don't know on a Mac. Somebody comment below if you know how on a Mac, because this is important stuff when you can't run your DAW at all without bypassing audio configuration on startup. So. I hope that helps someone out, especially someone with a complete control keyboard that is having Reaper crash and tearing your hair out trying to find the solution.